how to fly an aeroplane, Chloe. I do in my world. So do you. You're my co-captain. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the flight attendant. And here come our passengers. Welcome aboard, sir. <laughs> Board, ma'am. <laughs> up, up, up to the sky above. Up, up, up to the sky above. Have a nice flight. Welcome, sir. Oh, oh. Wait, please. I have a ticket. Have a good flight, Junior. Will you two be boarding as well? Ha, we don't need no plane to fly south. We have wings. <laughs> good morning, everybody. This is Co-Captain Lil. Please put your tray tables up and fasten your seat belts. Tray table up, sir. Hello, lovely carrot. <laughs> Hello, Captain Chloe. Just like Super Mallard. Who? Up, up, up to the sky above? Uh, no, I don't think so. Uh, we're gonna take off. What do I do? What do I do? Uh, we'll just buckle your seatbelt and you can sit back and relax. Phew, thank you. <laughs> Wait a minute. You're a duck. Why are you flying south on an aeroplane? Uh, my wings are tired. <sighs> Whoa, I'd better get back to my seat. Whoa. Hi, it's Captain Chloe again. We are now safely above the clouds. Would Sir like a snack? to rest for a minute. See? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Can we please hurry and fly south for the winter now? Goodness, if you're in such a hurry, why don't you just fly there with your own wings? Yeah, Junior. Why don't you just fly? Like your famous uncle, Super Mallard. <laughs> up, up, up to the and sky above! <laughs> I knew it! I knew you looked like Super Mallard! He's your uncle! Yep. 
He is my uncle. Okay, everyone. Time to board the aeroplane. We'll be taking off soon. Junior, why don't you just fly? Uh, I guess I'm a little bit scared. What are you scared of? Well, everyone always talks about how amazing my uncle is. He can fly super high and super fast. I could never fly like he does. You don't have to fly like he does. Just fly. Really? Could you guys help me? Of course. First, you need to see what it will look like when you're flying high in the sky. On the count of two, open your eyes. One, two. Wow! It's beautiful! Look up above! Oh! Now look down below! <gasps> wow! Everything's really beautiful when you're flying. Brilliant! Now you need to see what it feels like with the wind in your feathers. <laughs> Ready? One, two! Oh! Oh! This feels great! Hey! Now let go of me! I'm just flying! <laughs> oh dear! He's caught in a wind gust! Hang on! I'm coming, lovely carrot! Really? You certainly are. It's really hard to fly through a wind gust. It was like watching Super Mallard. Up, up, up! To, to the, the sky above. above! Well then, I didn't fly quite as fast or as high as he does. But I did fly. Do you want to fly south with us now? Sure. Mm, but I still don't fly very fast. That's okay. You'll learn. Thanks for helping, guys. You're all super. Goodbye, everyone. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Ole. We're so very, very beautiful. What are these things? They're castanets, lovely carrots. Flamenco dancers use them sometimes to keep the beat. Olé! <laughs> Olé! 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 Hey! You stepped on my foot, Lil. Oops. Sorry. <laughs> Woohoo! Aye aye! <laughs> que bueno! Your dancing is excelente! Flamingos! Flamenco flamingos! Dancers, I'm just learning. Today is going to be my very first performance. I'm so excited. Where are you going to dance? We're trying out for a TV show. Have you got talent? And we better hurry or we'll miss our chance. You girls should try out too. Oh, a talent show. We should try out. It would be fun. I don't know. <gasps> that sounded like a flamingo. Excuse us. May we pass, please? <laughs> Is everyone trying out for the talent show? Mm -hmm. Don't worry, Chloe. I'll find the flamingos and make sure they're okay. Thank you, lovely carrot. You're welcome, Miss Chloe. Hmm, I don't see. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, of course. End of the line. Bye bye. <laughs> Silly me. 
I tripped and hurt my ankle. Now we can't try out for the show. Poor Flora. It's okay. I'll just wait for another time to do my first performance. Pickles! That's too bad. Unless... Perhaps you girls could dance with Flora instead. Oh! Could you? Would you? Please, will you dance the flamenco with me? Of course! Hooray! But we don't really know how to dance the flamenco. That's okay. I'll teach you. Maraviloso! Good luck, Thank everyone! Thank you! Adios! <sighs> Lovely carrot! We're trying out for the show with Flora. Brilliant! When are they going to open the doors and start signing people up? It looks like they're opening the doors now! We did it! We signed up to audition for the show! Ole, ole! Now let's learn the dance. Is everyone ready for their first lesson? Yes! Yay! Okay. Brilliant! We're going to use special water spouts in this area to help us with our footwork. Water spouts? I don't see any. <laughs> 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 Lovely carrot. Stomp on the spouts. Wah! Try it, everyone. Like this. Ole! Ole! Whoa! Uh, ay, ay, ay! Good job. Keep it up. What? What? Oops. Don't worry, Lil. I fell down a lot when I was first learning, too. Just keep going. <laughs> now that you've got your feet moving, <laughs> it's time to add the hands. Oh. Ah. Oh. Ah. Now you try it. Put it all together. It's okay. I'm going to just watch. What's wrong, Lil? Are you going to quit? I'm just not good at this. You three should do the dance without me. Oh, please don't quit. We really want you to dance with us. Just try. It can't get better unless you try. We'll help you. Just keep the beat in your head as you move your feet and your body. Clap, clap, stomp, clap, clap, stomp, clap, stomp, clap, stomp, clap, stomp, clap, clap, stomp, clap, clap, stomp, clap, stomp, clap, stomp, clap, stomp. Let's all try it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're ready for our audition now. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> I'm good. No, actually, you're rather bad. Next. <gasps> Prepare yourself for the most amazing, most unusual act you have ever seen. I can hardly wait. <laughs> and that's not all. Next. The Flamenco Flamingos. Okay, ladies, hit it. Clap, clap, stomp, clap, clap, stomp, dance the flamenco dance. Clap, clap, stomp, clap, clap, stomp, dance the flamenco dance. Clap, clap, stomp, clap, clap, stomp, dance the flamenco dance. Dance the flamingo flamenco dance now. Bueno. So, do we have time?
talent. Yes, you have talent. Feel it? I can feel it in my feet. I can feel it in my ear. I can feel it in my beak. <laughs> Where's the sound coming from? I'll fly up and see what I can see. I see someone! Follow me! for a big festival. I was going to get my grown-up name tonight at the festival, but I'll never finish in time. Your grown-up name? Mm-hmm. Everyone calls me Little One because I'm little, but I want to be called Storyteller. That's why me and Choppy are carving a totem pole. What's a totem pole? That is. <laughs> A totem pole is a way of telling a story. Instead of using words, you tell the story in pictures. I wanted to tell the story of some of the animals that live here. <gasps> oh. I wanted to find five animals to carve, but I'm running out of time. We could find some animals for you. And we could draw pictures of them for you to carve. Like this. You want five animals, and you already have one. So we need to find four more animals for you. Right. Let's go and find them. What a pretty rainbow. Do you think there's a pot of gold at the end of it? Ooh, I wish we could look. Your wish is my command, Miss Chloe. I'll see what I can find. <laughs> Hooray for lovely carrots! <laughs> <laughs> Lovely carrot found an animal. A salmon. Now little one has two animals to carve, an owl and a salmon. So we need three more animals. Soggy, take this back to little one so we can start carving it. <coughs> Good job, lovely carrot. <laughs> I wonder what other kinds of animals live around here. There's one! That looks like a grizzly bear. Sounds like one too. Great to see you, Jet. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, lovely Karis. I thought you were a bear. How did you do that? You didn't even move your lips. I didn't do that. The grizzly bear did it. Ah! How do you do, Mr Bear? Wah! No, Chloe, <laughs> don't. Bears are dangerous. Not in my world. <laughs> Could we please draw your picture, Mr Bear? <laughs> OK, let's get started. All done. We have an owl, a salmon and a bear. We only need two more animals. Good timing, Soggy. Here's another drawing to take back to Little One. Whew. It's getting hot. I'll get you some nice cold water. 
Thank you, lovely carrot. Carrot, thank you. What? Oh, uh, you're welcome. No trouble at all. A caribou. And here comes Soggy to deliver it. Here you go, Soggy. He looks tired, Jet. Maybe Miss Caribou can help us out. Great idea. Um. Wow! You did a great job, little one. And Chopper. We'll help you carry it to the festival. I'm not going to the festival. What? I wanted to tell the story of five animals, but there's only four. Are you sure I only drew four animals for you to carve? One owl, two salmon, three bear, four caribou. We need one more to make five. <laughs> we'll never find one in time. Ta-da! We can't give up. There must be another animal around here somewhere. How about carving a beaver on your totem pole? Good idea, Chloe. This is my totem pole. It tells the story of many of the animals that surround our village. Did you ever see an owl, an owl, an owl? Did you ever see an owl? He looks just like this. Did you ever see a salmon? A grizzly bear or a caribou? Did you ever see these animals? They look just like this. These animals are special and very unique. But did you ever see a beaver, the king of them all? You have done well with this totem pole. From now on, you shall no longer be called Little One. You shall be called Storyteller. Sounded like a yodel, lovely carrot. What's a yodel? It's kind of like singing. Yodle, yoo. Yodle, yoo. Yodle, 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 that was a wunderbar yodel, kleines Madchen. Almost as good as mine. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Ah, these mountains used to be filled with wunderbar yodels, but no one could yodel like an old Austrian I once knew. An old Austrian went jodeling on a mountain so high, then along came our cuckoo bird, interrupting his cry. You might cause an echo. Echo? What's that? That's when you shout something and it repeats back to you. Oh, I love echoes. Let's hear one. <gasps> halt! Trust me. You do not want to hear an echo around here. If Miss Chloe wants to hear an echo, then she shall hear an echo. Hello! That's not... I mean, I, I didn't... 
you know, uh, th that's simply not right. <sighs> I'm afraid Mr. Echo hasn't been doing his job correctly for years. What's wrong with him? He's a stinker! That's what's wrong with him. And he's an even worse stinker to those poor cows down there. Ah, they used to love to clang their cow bells in a happy song and hear the song echoed back to them. Then Mr. Echo started teasing them, echoing back the notes of the song in the wrong order. That's not very nice. Nine. And now the cows won't even wear their bells. Let's go and try to help them. <gasps> Wunderbar! I'll show you a shortcut. Goodness, it's a long way down. Here I go! <laughs> I don't think... Whee! Let's just... Wah! Good luck, friends! Poor, poor cows. They must be so sad without their cow bells. Do you think they can still make milk and cheese? Cows make cheese. Not exactly. They just give the milk that the cheese is made from. Some cows give blue milk to make blue cheese. I don't think blue cheese is made from blue milk, Chloe. It is in my world. What kind of cheese does she make? Excuse me, Mrs. Cow, but you must make stinky cheese. I love stinky cheese. Shiny, shining. What will happen when I ring them? Oh dear. That song echo was all wrong. No wonder the cows won't wear their bells anymore. <laughs> we need to go and talk to Mr. Echo. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Echo, that is not nice. Mr. Mr. Echo, Echo, you are so, so nice. nice. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Echo. Aren't you supposed to repeat back exactly what we say? Well, yes, I am. But I don't want to. Why not? Well, I... I just... I don't... Uh, I've forgotten how. You forgot how to make an echo? Yes. At first, I thought it would be funny to send sounds back in the wrong order. But now, I can't remember how to send them back in the right order. No worries, Mr Echo. We'll help you. Just listen carefully and repeat what you hear. Three blind mice, blind three mice. Was that right? No, try again. Three blind mice, blind three mice. Hmm? Let me try again. Of course. Listen carefully. Three blind mice, blind three mice. Oh, I'll never get it right. I just can't remember what order to repeat back. <sighs> I don't know why he can't remember. It's as easy as one, two, three. You're right, Danny. It is as easy as one, two, three. Will you try it one more time, Mr. Echo? <sighs> Okay. Three blind mice. Three blind mice. Did I do it? It was perfect. <laughs> oh, let's do it again. Let's do it again. <laughs> Try this, Mr. Echo. Yoda lay. Yoda Oh, this is fun. More, more! Your net is hoo! Your net is hoo! Your lay hee hoo! Your lay hee hoo! <laughs> 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 
Of course. <coughs> Mr. Echo, that will make the cows so happy. They'll even start wearing their cow bells again, so they can listen to Mr. Echo. <laughs> oh, it feels good to be doing my job the right way again. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yay! <laughs> We're just big. It's okay, mate. Let him play. It'll help us get warmed up. This'll be fun. Fun? This is no time for fun, Chloe. We have to win. Right, Dolga? I suppose it is nice to win. <laughs> You'll play with us, won't you? Sorry, I can't. I promised my mom I'd help her work in the garden this morning. Maybe I'll see you later. Okay. Bye, Bye. Bye. Good luck with the game. Okay, everyone. Here we go. I, I got, got it. it. Oh, pickles. <laughs> Point. 
using their hands and their feet. I don't think that's against the rules, Danny. But it's not fair. We are using eight hands. They are using eight hands and... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight feet. That's a lot of feet. It's just a game, Danny. I'm having fun. Aren't you? Well... Yes. Let's get back up there and play ball. Hooray! Hooray! Ow! Danny, are you OK? My foot hurts. Poor, poor Danny. Everything OK? I just hurt my foot a little bit. Maybe you best not play then, mate. You don't want to make it worse. But if I don't play, there will only be three people on our team. Is the game over? Order! We'd like to keep playing, but Danny's foot is sore, so she's just going to watch. Now we only have three players. We need one more to make four. What about me? I'd love to play. Hooray! She has too many hands. Eight of them. That doesn't seem fair. But you've been using your eight feet to play. Hmm. You're right. We have been. Fair enough. Game on! into a jungle. You never know what's going to whack. I can spy with my little eye, my little eye, my little eye. I can spy with my little eye. Something that starts with T. I spy three parrots. <laughs> but parrots start with P, not T. I spy some bushes. Uh, but bush starts with B, not T. It's not parrots, and it's not bush, it's trees! <laughs> trees? <laughs> that was too easy. I should have guessed that. Let me do one. I can spy with my little eye, with my little eye, with my little eye. I can spy with my little eye, something that starts with... Wait, don't go. I was going to say something that starts with S. Snakes! <coughs> Looks like singing isn't my talent. Lollipops! Look at that! Whoa, I see it! That's not how you play the game. <coughs> Elephants! Elephants, my name is Chloe. <laughs> How 
How do you do? <coughs> nice to meet you. It's a real pleasure, madam. <laughs> Look at Chloe. Lucky. <laughs> Don't go on trees. They do in my world. Practice, huh? Is this where 
Avengers live? Where's the door? It's up here! Let's see if anyone is home. <laughs> I wonder what all these levers and buttons do. Careful, Jack. You don't know. Thank you, Miss Chloe. You're welcome, lovely carrot. Ooh! Look at this very, very big ball pit. I'm going inside. Enough balls! They're balloons! I found a pretty purple one. <laughs> What's so funny? Your hair! It looks like this. <laughs> <laughs> That's Wiz. Where is he? There he is. How is he doing that? Anything can happen in my world. <laughs> that may be true, young lady. But in this case, your little metal friend is sticking to the ceiling because of a magnet. <laughs> Are you an inventor? Inventor? <laughs> I am the world's greatest inventor. Can you invent something so we can walk on the ceiling like Wiz? Already have. Just put on those metal boots. Yes! invent something brilliant for the next toy invention convention. What's an invention convention? Well, it's where a bunch of inventors get together to show their latest toy inventions. Maybe we can help. Maybe you can. We could invent something cool with this. Or with this. <laughs> Too dangerous! <laughs> What's this? Ah, that is one of the toys I may take to the convention. It's a cloak of invisibility. Ooh! I don't see anything. Of course not. It's invisible! Ah! Are you really under there? I am. One problem, though. If I want to be totally invisible, I have to put the cloak over my face. <gasps> it works. Yes, but now I can't see where I'm going. 
Ah! Sorry, lovely carrot. Didn't know you were there. So, you see the problem with that toy? How about this toy? That's just a plain old scooter. Actually, it's a flying scooter. Try it, Chloe. It still has a few kinks. Ah! Ooh, hang on, Chloe! Yikes! Look out! Ah. Oh no! Oh. Sorry, guys! Pickles! I think it's out of petrol! Jump, Chloe! Whee! As you can see, it needs a little work. Maybe you should try inventing a simple toy, Mr. Inventor. That's silly, Chloe. Simple toys aren't fun. I think they are. Like this stick. What can you do with a stick? Well, you can hold it in front of you and pretend you're leading a band. Ride on top of it. <laughs> Brilliant! What else? It could be a guitar. Or a baseball bat. <laughs> Giggling gaggles of geese! That's the best toy I've ever seen! Stupendous! Brilliant! How did you ever get it to work so well? We just pretended. Genius! I shall call this toy Chloe's Incredible Pretending Toy! Hundreds of games in one little stick! Just add imagination! It'll be the hit of the invention convention! This calls for a celebration! Woo! Is this cooler? Watch! Look at the fire truck! Woohoo! Hooray! Whee! <laughs> this is very, very amazing, Chloe. We're Chloe's Fire Company, here to save the day! <laughs> Fire crew? Yes, yes, yes Chloe. Chloe. <laughs> we have to be prepared in case there's a real emergency. What kind of emergency, Chloe? Well, if we hear one bell ringing, it's just a tree rescue. If we hear two bells ring, it's a different kind of rescue. If we hear three bells ring, there's a fire. What do four bells mean? It's time for lunch. <laughs> Come on, fire crew. Let's make sure our fire engine is clean and ready. Right. I'll get the hose. <laughs> it's alive! <laughs> <laughs>
Main Street. Here we go! Someone is stuck up in the tree. Hello up there! It's the firefighters. It's a kite! Hooray! It's the fire department! You have come to rescue my kite, eh? Whoa! And me! Don't worry, we'll have you both down in a jiffy. Down we go. <laughs> it is good to be on solid ground. Eh? Next time you should call us before you try to rescue your own kite. Oh, I will. Thank you all so much. You are real heroes. Just doing your job, sir. Congratulations, everyone. Our first tree rescue was perfect. It's the two-bell alarm. It's a different kind of rescue. This is so embarrassing. My trunk is stuck in the fence. Lollipops, you're in a real pickle. The owner said I could reach through the fence and pick some of his flowers. But while I was picking, I tied my nose in a knot. Poor, poor Mrs. Elephant. Don't worry. Lovely Carrot will help you. You want me to do a rescue? Of course. Right. I shall do you proud, Captain Chloe. Hmm. Uh, uh, I see. Yes. Oh, goodness. Is it hopeless? You're in a triple-dipple pickle, Mrs Elephant. But I can handle it. <gasps> Almost got it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Here's your bouquet, Mrs Elephant. <coughs> My hero. Just doing our job, ma'am. You are very, very amazing today, lovely carrot. I've never seen an elephant get her trunk tied in a knot before. <laughs> Anything can happen in Chloe's world. Right, Miss Chloe? Right, lovely carrot. I should have left it out here in the sun. I should have put it away. It's okay, lovely carriage. We all make mistakes sometimes. Next time you'll be sure to put things away as soon as you're done using them. Right. Now it's time to put away our equipment, fire crew.
Is this cool or what? He's going really fast! Lovely. Thank you. No problem. Rescuing runs in my family. My dad is the greatest rescue dog on the slopes. Wow. Can we meet him? Sure. Just follow me back to the ski lodge and I'll introduce you. Okay. Cool. Um, wait. No. It's this way. Um, maybe it's this way. <laughs> Could it be that way? That's it. Follow me. Sorry my dad wasn't here so you could meet him. He's probably out on a big rescue mission. Wow, do you ever go with him? Uh, no, not yet. I still have a lot to learn. I'm real good at rescuing. But I'm not so good at finding my way back to the lodge again. Would you like us to help you practice, Scout? That would be great. Thanks. <laughs> Scout to the rescue! Good job, Scout. <laughs> <laughs> You did it! Hooray for Scout! The rescuing part is easy. Now I just have to get us all back to the lodge. Hey! We'll follow my paw prints! Follow me! Great! Yes! Here we go! <sighs> my paw prints! Come back! No! Stop! Hey! Wait! Oh, Wuffles! Sorry my dad isn't back yet. He must be on a really big rescue. <gasps> I'll never be a great rescue dog like Dad. Of course he will. How does your dad find his way back from a rescue, Scouse? He says he looks for landmarks on the way out and follows them back when the rescue is done. What's a landmark? Something that's always there, like a certain tree or rock. That's a brilliant idea. I know it is, but I never get it right. You just need more practice. <laughs> oh, please! Someone rescue me! <laughs> Here he comes! I saw lots of landmarks on my way here. Follow me! I saw a big fir tree. And I passed four rocks, like these. These smell like the right kind of bushes. Are you sure this is the right way? Yep, I saw all these landmarks on our way here. Did you see them in this order? Does that matter? What happened? 
You have to follow the landmarks back in the right order, Scouse, or you end up going in circles. Oh, no! Even when I use landmarks, I can't find my way home. Let's try it again. No, I give up. I'm never going to be a great rescue dog like my dad. Hey, where is my dad? It'll be dark soon. I'm sure he's okay. No, he never stays out on a rescue for this long. Something must be wrong. I've got to go and find him. Wait, we'll go with you and help you remember the landmarks in the right order. Great, thanks. One. We need the big ski lodge, big ski lodge, big ski lodge. Two. We go past the red ski flag to help Scout find his father. Three. We go past a grove of trees, grove of trees, grove of trees. Four. We go past a frozen pond to help Scout find his father. Scout to the rescue! <laughs> Dad! Scout! <laughs> I thought I heard something in that burrow, so I went in to check it out. Then the snow fell and blocked the entrance, and I, I couldn't turn around and dig my way out. So I rescued you? You sure did. Lead us home now, Scout. Huh? But I can't. Yes, you can. Just remember our song. Backwards. Right. Follow me. Four. We go past a frozen pond. Frozen pond. Frozen pond. Three. We go past a grove of trees to get back to the ski lodge. Two. We go past a red ski flag. Red ski flag. Red ski flag. One. We see the big ski lodge and now we're almost home. I just remembered the order of the landmarks and turned them around. I'm very proud of you, son. Thanks. I'll race you to the ski lot. Hey! It's freezing. Careful, Chloe. You don't want to get wet. Of course I do, silly. I'm a deep sea diver. <laughs> Wait! <laughs> ah! <gasps> oh, I suppose it's not really that cold. <gasps> She's an octopus, Chloe. Octopuses can be very dangerous, you know. Not in my world. Where did she go? You see, she didn't need our help after all. <laughs> Look at me! I'm riding a dolphin! 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 He wants to show us the ocean, Chloe. Lollipops, that's wonderful. Come on, Mac. Let's go for a ride. Climb aboard, lovely carrot. Um, I, uh, 
I don't think I... Octopus is right, Chloe. Maybe she simply can't do a cartwheel with eight arms. <gasps> Horses! Goodness! I've never seen such big seahorses! They're all this big in my world, lovely carrot. Can we ride them? Of course! You're welcome, Miss Chloe. I just held him in the right place until he could do it by himself. That was a very good idea. Maybe that's the way we can help Miss Octopus. Would you seahorses like to help Miss Octopus too? Then follow me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I gave up. Don't give up yet, Miss Octopus. Why not? Chloe thought of a wonderful way to help you with your cartwheel. Really? How? Wow! I'm doing it! I'm doing a cartwheel! It's working, Chloe! Cartwheel hooray! Thank you! Thank you for your help! Woohoo! That was very clever! Good job! You're welcome, Miss Chloe. Hey, everyone, hop on a horsey and join me. Someday soon, I'll be able to do a cartwheel all by myself. I just have to keep on practising. Oh, Chloe, what 
a pretty garden. Flowers, flowers. Ah, 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 Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Gain. Achoo, whoa. Bless you, lovely carrot. Thank you, Miss Chloe. These flowers make me sneeze. Not. It takes so long for them to grow back. Not in my world. <gasps> wow! <laughs> Amazing! Briny Dirt! Brain, let's dig. Chloe, Lil, hurry! You have to see. Come on, hurry! What is it, lovely carrot? What did you see? <gasps> wow! Wait! Let me go first and make sure they're safe. Girls, those big flowers are perfectly safe. <laughs> as long as you don't sneeze. <laughs> oh, I felt a drop. Is it raining? I think it came from that fountain. It's so pretty. It's brilliant. <laughs> Oops, sorry, my fault. <laughs> Thank you, lovely carrot. You're welcome, Miss Chloe. Oh! What happened? The flowers grew bigger. Ah, 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 Jim! Bless you! They grew again! I think it's the water from the fountain that's making them grow. Water them again, lovely carrot. <gasps> it is! It is the water! Let's make some more flowers grow. Uh, 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 see the flowers, see the flowers, short and small, short and small. Thank you. Mac fight! Wow, worms! <laughs> <laughs> no! Mac fight! Worms! We found something too, Mac. Magic water! Magic water? Watch! Oh! Wow! Look at that! doesn't work on people. Mac no grow. Hmm. It only works on flowers.
He's right, you know. You are big. Mrs. Mouse, my name is Chloe. How do you do, Miss Chloe? Ah! Please don't eat me. Don't worry. Lovely carrot would never eat you. Oh, sometimes it's hard to be small, and my babies are even smaller. Those big birds are always after them. It must be nice to be so much bigger than they are. Would you like to be bigger than those birds, Mrs. Mouse? Oh, yes! Then I could keep my babies safe. Okay, then. Here we go. Is that big enough? No. Bigger. Bigger. Perfect. Oh, thank you. Now the birds won't ever bother my family again. Would you like to come with me and meet my children? That would be lovely. Follow me. Bye. 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 Coming, children. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, dear. I'm too big to go in. And my children are too frightened to come out. I'll get them for you, Mrs. Mouse. My hand is too big. Let me try. My hand is too big, too. I can't do it. We need someone small. Max small. You are small, Max. I'll bet you could reach Mrs. Mouse's children. Mama! Oh, please, do hurry. Sometimes it's really good to be small. Yay! Uh, 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 Bless you. Thank you. Wow, is this cool? What? We're a pop star band. <laughs> Everything is possible in my world. This must be where we were doing our show tonight. Let's practice. Now, you two stars are going to be very busy today. What do you mean, lovely carrot? I just found this to-do list, and you need to do everything on it before tonight's show. Wow, that's a long list. What does it say, lovely carrot? First, you'll have your pictures taken, then hair and makeup, then you'll come back here for the show. Is that all? That's it. Why is the paper so long? <laughs> I like to doodle. Hurry! You have to get to the beach for your photo shoot. Lollipops! A purple car! <laughs> Who drives a purple car? Car driver Tara, at your speedy service. Tara? Hooray! It's Tara! No time for talking now. We've got places to go, people to see, pictures to take. Are you coming to see our show tonight, Tara? Yep. Your band is amazing. We're writing a new song. Do you want to hear it? Oh, I'd love to. Let's play dress up with Chloe's closet. We're not sure what comes next. 
How about let's play dress up with Chloe's closet? What's the costume today in Chloe's closet? That's brilliant. Yes, you should join our band, Clara. Oh, I'd love to. Huh? But, but we've always been a two-person band, Chloe. We can add another one, Jet. Two plus one equals a three-person band. Hooray! Hooray! Come on, everybody. Picture time. Hurry, hurry, hurry. <laughs> oh, dear. OK. Everyone smile. Oops, wrong way. <laughs> Say cheese, everyone. Cheese! <laughs> sorry, oh, I'm so sorry, I... <laughs> Lovely colour, Danny. Danny! I just love your band, Chloe. I know all of your songs. We're writing a new song. Maybe you can help us. Listen. Let's play dress up with Chloe's closet. What's the costume today in Chloe's closet? We're not sure what comes next. How about? Let's look inside and we'll see. Brilliant! Cool. Amazing! Would you like to join the band, Danny? <laughs> I'd love to! But, Chloe, we already have three members. Right. Three old members plus one new member makes a four-person band. Hooray! Hooray! Time is flying. Let's get this picture taken. Wow! I've never ridden in a helicopter before. Pop stars do it all the time. Ah! Oh. Got it! Thanks. Cool! Thank you. <laughs> <coughs> Come on, everyone! Hurry, hurry! Buckle up! We're off to get costumes, makeup, and hair done. This is so exciting! I wish we could finish our song before the show tonight. Me too. Let's sing it again. Maybe we'll think of something. <laughs> Chloe's closet was the costume today in Chloe's closet. Let's look inside and we'll see. In Chloe's closet there's a costume mystery. Lil! She finished our song. Pilot Lil, at your service. Hooray! You should join our band too, Lil. That's a great idea, Jet. <laughs> Four plus one more makes a five-person band for the concert tonight. Hooray! Being in a band is amazing. We get new costumes. And new hair. And new maker. Oh, no. No makeup for me. <laughs> They're here. They're finally here to get you all ready. Time to create some pop star magic. Four to go. Next. Two done. Three to go. Next. Three done. Two to go. Next. Whoa. Try again. Four done. One to go. Next. Five pop stars. Ready to go! <laughs> 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 